Right, should we get on with the bit? I look like a spod. It's not pretty. I need a necklace on, really. Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be a favourites video. I actually can't remember the last time I did a favourites video, so I thought I would just do one today. So I've mainly got beauty bits to show you today and a couple of little uh, like fashiony bits as well, so let's get cracking. Okay, so I'm starting off with the Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser. I have been using this for about a month now and I must admit I'm obsessed and I've used over half of it as well which is slightly depressing but this is really really good I did a whole blog post on this as well because I think it's that good and it's literally just a spray on moisturiser which is absolutely perfect for if you're like on the go busy lifestyle you know maybe you do a lot of fitness and you just want to spray your moisturiser on and it doesn't leave you sticky either um, it just leaves like a nice finish and like dries really really quickly so you can put your clothes on pretty much straight away. I'm really really loving that, it's really good. It is slightly pricey I think for the size um, but I like it so it's fine. The spring I am absolutely loving at the moment, this blusher from Clinique which I've had for ages, I don't know if they still do it and it's really reflective which is kind of annoying and it's in the shade 107 Sunset Glow and it just looks like this and it's just like a really nice colour I'm wearing it today although it's not really going to show up very well on camera because of all the lights and stuff but um, it's like a really nice colour it's got like flecks of sort of like gold shimmer in it and it just makes me look a lot healthier and just happy to be here <laughs> I'm going on to a lip product which I am literally obsessed with and it's the Sugar um, Tinted Lip Treatment in the shade Ruby. I bought this back from America and did um, a beauty haul with it in and it's just such a nice colour. Look at how nice that is, it's so good. I'm wearing it today and I love it so much because it smells really really good and like it's really buildable so you can have it quite sheer or you can build it up. When I bought it I didn't realise it's actually a lip treatment um, instead of a lipstick but the pigment Pigment blah. <laughs> the pigmentation is really good, so it pretty much is a lipstick in my eyes. Sticking with makeup, I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I am using the shade Medium Brown, and I've basically been using this non stop since the beginning of the year. I genuinely don't know what I did before I had this. Well, I do know I used um, Soap and Glory Arc de Triumph, but it's just, oh, this is just so good. It's got such a nice thin like pencil end which is really precise for doing like little brush strokes and then on the other end, let's just make sure you don't smush this, it has a little brush which is looking a bit gross, I'm not going to zoom in on that, um, which is just great for like brushing through afterwards to give a really nice natural effect. I'm genuinely obsessed with this product and oh, I, don't, I don't think I'll ever use anything else. Next up I have another product from Body Shop, surprise surprise, if you don't already know I am a bit obsessed with uh, Body Shop and I recently picked up the Insta Blur, um, I watched uh, from Lucy With Love, she did a haul recently and she picked this up and was raving about it so I felt really jealous because I just bought the mattifying one and it's just not as good so I picked this up and oh my god it is so good like I've only used it a couple of times but I would say it's like on par with the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm it is so good and it does what it says where it kind of like blurs your skin and makes like applying foundation so much easier I literally love this it just like evens out your flaws and like any dry areas or like oily areas just like instantly look smooth and beautiful and I just really do love this. Okay so next up I have a bit of skincare for you and this is the Lush Million Dollar Moisturiser. I picked this up at a recent event and oh my god this smells like oh it's just so nice. I can't really describe it because I'm really crap at describing smells but it's like it's kind of like creamy within like a sort of hit of like uh, like something exotic -y, oily smell <laughs> oh god 
yeah I can't describe it so I'll just tell you what's in it that might be easier it has got honey shea butter and jojoba oil which is really really nice it's SPF 30 as well so it's a really high SPF which I really like and just smells amazing because it has got oil in it I've been tending to use this after doing like a face mask um, when my skin can feel a little bit stripped if I use this all the time it may bring me out in spots but it just smells so good and it feels really nice on your skin it makes it feel like ridiculously soft after using it so yeah considering I don't even usually like Lush products until this year I think I am definitely converted and then my final product to show you is the Neil's Yard Be Lovely to Your Hands Hand Cream again I picked this up at an event and oh my god it is so nice like it's got organic honey that's blended with orange essential oils and it just smells incredible and I have to say this is probably the best hand cream I've ever used it is definitely up there with the Body Shop hemp hand cream it's a really nice thick consistency I'm gonna put some on now and like leaves your hands feeling ridiculously soft and I have really dry hands and this has like saved my hands recently so I'm really really impressed with it and it just smells heavenly and it helps save the bees as well so you know let's let's save the bees people oh it just smells so good it's such a nice consistency and it's rubbed in really nicely and it's quite thick which I like I really like thick hand moisturizers that really sink in and do the job okay so going on to a couple of little fashiony bits I have picked up these I've not done the straps up which is really lazy of me let me just do those up one sec do it up my shoes because I've worn them okay so I've just done up one because you get the idea but it is a pair of these like strappy strappy shoes <laughs> they're um, black obviously strappy ankle heels which I really really love I've been wanting a pair for ages but I didn't want to spend too much money so I picked these ones up on eBay and they were only $14.99 which I think is really really good I'll leave a link in the down bar for you if you're interested and they're like this suede material and they just make your feet look really really elegant which I love and just like make any outfit look really sophisticated they're sexy shoes absolutely love these um, they're not that practical to walk in, not gonna lie, but they look nice and that is the main thing. Um, I don't really care that I can't walk in them, it's fine. So yeah, these are just like really nice evening shoes for like going out. And I think as well they can look quite nice with like, just like a pair of jeans or something and like a t-shirt and a blazer and it just looks like effortless chic. <laughs> Okay, so sticking with shoes, I recently made some purchases from New Look, which you may or may not have seen in my Cam's Meetup vlog, which is in my video list somewhere. And they're these boots which I picked up from New Look. They were originally £60 because they're real leather and they went down to £30. And then just after I'd ordered them, they went down to 22. So if you really want to back yourself a bargain, get these now because they are 22 pounds, which is so good. They're real leather, as I say, and they're just so comfy. And I just really love them. I'll just show you one. It's got this really nice, like, detailing on them. They're super duper comfy and just look great with any kind of like casual outfit. And I really like tan for like spring summer as well. They'll look really nice with just like bare legs and like dresses as well in the summer or tights or jeans. They just go with everything and I love them. And finally, I have a dress to show you which you've probably seen me wear quite a lot of. And it is this one from New Look. Um, it's like, a long sleeve smock dress. I'm really loving smocks this year, particularly like long sleeve because I think they look really cool. And it's kind of like 70s and I just love this print. It is like so, so pretty. And yeah, I've been wearing this a lot. Again, I wore this to the Cam Meetup um, bloggers event. I wore this um, to London with my mummy, which I did another vlog of. And yeah, it just is so nice. You can like dress it up a bit with maybe like some heels or something or wear it casual with some boots 
and a floppy hat which is what I've been wearing it with but I would definitely wear this with heels maybe even these ones I don't know who knows anyway I just really really love it I love like Paisley I think it's gonna be really in this year and this was only uh, 19.99 which I think is a real bargain look how nice it is that is the end of my favourites video. I think I'm going to call this my spring favourites because they're things I'm loving right now which I think I'm going to love for the rest of spring. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time. Bye!